In this video, we'll look at how to set up this GSM alarm system. These are the components we'll be assembling together to make up our alarm system. We have a pair of wireless door sensor, which is meant to be fixed on a door, whereby this side can be placed on the door frame, whilst this is sticked to the door itself so that when the door is opened and the two parts get separated, an alarm would be triggered. This is a wireless motion sensor that we will be adding to the system. This sensor can be hanged at any location so that whenever there is motion at where it is placed, the alarm would be triggered. We also have remote controllers to be used in either arming or disarming the system. Here is a siren which will be wiring to the system as well and this is to produce a very loud sound whenever an intruder is detected by the system. This is the programmable unit of the alarm system. It is called the alarm host. All the motion sensors, the remote controllers and the sirens will be linked to this unit. Please note that it is the alarm host that is used in programming the entire alarm system using the provided keypad and we'll soon see how the programming is done in this video. We'll begin the setup by first connecting the siren to the alarm host. When you observe the terminals of the siren, it comes in red and black colors which connotes positive and negative terminals respectively. On the alarm host, you can see the siren positive and siren negative. So I'll place the positive terminal of the siren into this point and tighten. The negative goes in here and I'll tighten it. So that does it for the siren wiring. We will now plug the power adapter to the alarm host before we can add the wireless sensors through system programming. And plug this end to a power socket and then turn on the power. You can see that the alarm host is loading up. Now the alarm host is ready and so we can add the door sensor. Before you add the door sensor, you will have to check and be sure there are batteries in there. This sensor must be installed in such a way that the two parts must be placed together like this, so that whenever they are separated, the alarm will ring. So by these sticker materials, this part can be pasted on the door frame, whilst this other one can be pasted on the door itself. But again, you must make sure that in pasting them, they get aligned this way, so that whenever the door is opened, they get separated, and by so doing, the alarm will get triggered. But before the door sensor becomes active, we need to get it programmed on the alarm host using the alarm manual. So I'll have to open up to where I can find the instructions for adding a door sensor or in other words, a wireless sensor. So here are the instructions on how one can add the wireless detectors. The process is stated here and it says that we will have to input first the system password followed by 23 and then the serial number of the wireless detector and end it up with the hash key. So let's try and input that instruction on the alarm host. We will have to enter the system password which is 1234 followed by the hash key in order to enter into the setup status and be able to program the alarm host. So the system is ready for the next instruction, which is to add a wireless sensor. So we'll input the system password, which is 1234, followed by 23, 
and then the serial number of the wireless sensor followed by the hash key. So we have successfully added the door sensor. To test the system, we will arm it using the remote controller. System on. So we can now separate these sensors as if the door is opened and you can hear the result. Even if the intruder tries to close the door, the alarm will never cease until the owner of the premise himself stops the alarm using the remote controller or his cell phone that is connected to the alarm system. We will now test the PIR motion sensor which I added earlier on before the start of this video and I used the same process I used in adding the door sensor. So I will again arm the system and then wave at the sensor. And you can hear the result of the motion detected by the sensor. If this is your first time visiting this channel, please subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification so that you can be the first to be notified anytime we post new videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.